Welcome to Flutter Teacher. Guys, in the last video, we have seen size box that allows us to apply custom width and height for the child widget. In this video, we will understand how to apply additional size constraint by using the constant box. Here, we will also understand what happens when we place a constant box inside a size box or inside another constant box. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Constant box is a widget that imposes additional size constraint to its child. Now let's understand why I am saying the additional size constraints. We know that when we use a size box, we can only apply custom height and width for its child. But in case of constant box, whatever constraint that is the size constraint we want to apply, it has to be applied by using the property called constraints and that requires an instance of box constraint. You can see here, box constraint has the additional constraint in the form of minimum width and minimum height and the maximum width and maximum height. The default value for this mean width and mean height is 0 and for max width and max height it is double dot infinity. Now let me explain three different situations of the size. You can see here, we have a container with a blue color with the width of 50 and height just of 10 pixel. Now the observable thing is, even though this container is smaller than this minimum width and height, we can see here, this container is not at all taking this 50 width and 10 height. It is actually acquiring this minimum and maximum width whichever I have specified inside this constant box. Let's understand the second scenario. What happens when we have a child having larger size than the size specified in the constant box? You can see here, we have got this container with the width 500 and the height 1000 pixel. Even though I have a container having the larger size specified than the max width and max height here, you can observe now the max height and max width is actually controlled by the constant box and the child max width means the child width and child heights are ignored and the importance is given to constant box. Now let's see the third situation when we have a child which has the size between the minimum and maximum range of constant box. So for this reason let me change this one to say uh, 150 pixel and let's say uh, we have a height of this box as 200 pixel and now we have a container which is having the width and height that lies between this minimum and maximum range of constant box. So in a save here, you can observe now this particular container has got a width of 150 and the height of 200 pixels here. Now one important thing or rule that we must use while using this box constant is that the value for this mean width must be less than the value of this max width and the value of this mean height must be less than the value of this max height. And if you don't follow this rule, Flutter will throw an error. Now let's see what happens when we place a constant box inside the size box. You can see here, we have a large container placed inside the constant box. So in this case, the size of this container is controlled by the specific constant box. And as this constant box is placed inside the size box, so here entire size of this constant box is completely managed by the size box. And that is the reason the size of container and the size of constant box is getting ignored and more preference or more priority is given to size box. And you can see here, that means you can observe now here, the width and height of this container is just 200 by 200. And if I change it to say uh, 100 and let's say it's uh, 150, you can observe now, only the size given inside the size box is getting importance means this is getting the value and all the things inside this constant box and the child is getting ignored. Let's see what happens when we place a constant box inside the another constant box. You can observe now we have a big orange color container placed inside the constant box. So the width of this container is 900 pixel but for controlling this particular width this constant box is responsible. So this second constant box means the inner constant box is allowing maximum 300 width for this container. But as this constant box is again control of this uh, outer constant box so it is allowing max width of only 100 pixel and that is the reason for this uh, container only maximum width of 100 pixels is given. Let's say if I change it to 1000 now you might be thinking that this box will now acquire the max width of 1000 pixels so no this is not going to happen let's see the magic here as this container means as this container has the width of 900 pixels and this container is controlled by this constant box so it is having the max width of 300 so this container can have maximum only the 300 pixels width so it doesn't matter means this constant box is allowing this particular constant box to have the 1000 pixel maximum width of course it's possible but this constant box is restricting its style that is the container to have maximum width of only 
300 and that is the reason this container cannot go beyond the 300 range here for example let's say if i change say say uh, for example say 200 and when i save here you can observe now it is getting there's the 200 maximum width here so the same case will be applicable for max height mean height and the mean width that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification to get my latest contents